हेलो फ्रेंड्स अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू वन सरकारी आई एम योर फ्रेंड विकास भारद्वाज एंड वी आर बैक विद वन इकोनॉमी टर्म वन इकोनॉमी क्वेश्चन बिकॉज कंटिन्यूटी एंड लिटिल बिट ऑफ रिविशन ऑलवेज मैटर्स इफ इट इज डन इन ए कंस्ट्रक्टिव एंड कलेक्टिव वे सो लेट्स सी वॉट इज द टर्म दैट यू आर टेकिंग अप टूडे सो द टर्म इज यूएस डॉलर एज ए ग्लोबल करेंसी कौन नहीं जानता डॉलर के बारे में डॉलर मैनी सिंबोलिजम्स बट इन टर्म्स ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स एंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड एंड कॉमर्स इट इज सीना नानकुआ देर इज नो सब्सिट्यूट टू डॉलर सो द क्वेश्चन अराइज इज यूएस dollar as a global currency what are its ramifications and what is its position kyun hai aisa let's have a basic overview so the present position if we say of us dollar as a global currency is safe why because it is a global reserve currency when we say global we mean to say the main countries economies and obviously industrial setup in the world it is dependent and it is having faith in dollar and no other currency when we say reserve that means in case of crisis like in the present times of covid-19 pandemic or in terms of war situations or in any unfavorable conditions it is dollar which can be trusted that means it will be remaining more or less unaffected by the positions but what can be the future position of dollar in the longer run there is growing influence of china in so many ways and then the aggressive policy of the us federal reserve jaise india mein rbi hai us ke andar hai us federal reserve that means its aggressive policy of monetary easing more and more dollar more and more dollar and it is increasing in number apart from it what other factors can be there increasing gold prices and the rising inflation so all these factors are there which are always linked with dollar but whatever may be the weaknesses we talk about of dollar or whatever we say the challenges that the dollar faces they may be short term and cyclical in nature that means ek cycle hai ek period hai ek short span hai जिसके अंदर डॉलर मे सीम टू बी वीकनिंग इट्स पोजीशन अ बिट बट देन इट विल बाउंस बैक चाहे फिर वो अल्ट्रा लूज मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी एज आई जस्ट सेट दैट यू आर हैविंग ईज मनी मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी एंड देन यू आर मॉनिटाइजिंग ह्यूज ट्रेड डेफिसिट्स और बजट डेफिसिट्स दैट मीन्स यूएस इज हैविंग ह्यूज ट्रेड डेफिसिट us is having huge borrowings and that is increasing but that is not making any difference there are risk on episodes like covid 19 which will force people industries technologies and countries to sit up and look how they can best cope up it with and situations like currency swaps with other central banks where dollar will be swapped with other currencies thereby making situation more liquidated and thereby continuing international trade and commerce but the present public health failures and the related economic vulnerabilities of the us are some of the factors us is not the best country which have handled the pandemic in the best possible way that is what we can say that is why we say that before pandemic there was appreciation of dollar however there is the question of huge trade deficit as i said there is the question of low interest rates because the us economy behaves and function in this way and there was depreciation of dollar also because if the dollar is remaining depreciated then the external trade competitiveness of the us economy maintains it retains kyunki us ko bhi after all a level of competitiveness maintained rakhna hai what it will be resulting into 
इकोनॉमिक से कि वी शेप रिकवरी जो होनी चाहिए उसकी जगह आपकी यू शेप रिकवरी होगी दैट इज वन ऑफ द ओपिनियन नाउ इफ यू सी फर्दर तो क्या है डॉलर के पास ऐसा जो कि बाकी करेंसी के पास नहीं है मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली इट इज डिपेंडेंट अपॉन अ सिस्टम ऑफ फ्लेक्सीबल एक्सचेंज रेट इट इज हैविंग वेरी लिमिटेड कैपिटल कंट्रोल एक लिबरल करेंसी की तरह डॉलर बिहेव करता है and then very deep and obviously liquid bond markets china bhi koshish kar raha hai ki aise hi approach ko wo follow kare that means kya hai dollar dollar ek broad unit of account hai ek means of payment hai aur adverse crisis mein ek stable store value bhi uski hai par aisa kyun it is because of the competitiveness and obviously the dynamic nature of the us economy रिफ्लेक्ट करता है आप उसकी टेक्नोलॉजिकल जैंट देखिए चाहे फेसबुक हो गूगल हो एप्पल हो फार्मास्यूटिकल्स विच आर इन्वेस्टिंग मिलियंस एंड मिलियंस ऑफ डॉलर्स इन आरएनडी हेल्थ केयर सेक्टर एंड द एडवांस फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज सो व्हाट वी कैन से इज दैट यूएस इकोनॉमी इज नॉट लाइक चाइना और लाइक जापान और लाइक द यूरोपियन यूनियन बिकॉज यूएस इज नॉट अ स्ट्रॉन्ग एक्सपोर्ट लेड कंट्री other countries like china if we say china is a competitor to the us then it is led by strong exports which is not the core identity of the us that is why long term future mein kya hoga monetizing large jo trade budget deficits hain usse external deficit badhta jayega and finally there may be a huge inflation and eventually dollar jo hai debase ho sakta hai aur uski attractiveness as a reserve currency weak ho sakti hai but most important factors are still remaining for example weaponization of the dollar via trade finance and technology sanctions what it means it means that the dollar is the supreme currency which behaves and acts in its own ways when any sanction is imposed on any country then it becomes crippled because there is no power beyond the hands of the us US dollar is the most important restraining factor. वो जो चाहेगा वो करेगा If it says that there must be international sanctions, there must be international financial restraints, then in other words it means कि dollar में कारोबार नहीं होगा और अगर dollar में कारोबार नहीं होगा तो कारोबार होगा ही नहीं So whether it is technology whether it is trade whether it is finance everything the world moves through dollar and that is why hegemony of dollar is there and us take undue advantage is also of the same thing because the whole system financial system and the economic process is based upon the processes created by the us and the allied countries इसी टर्म में यदि हम सहे हु आर द स्ट्रेटेजिक राइवल्स ऑफ द यूएस दैट इज चाइना एंड रशिया सो दे आर ट्राइंग टू डाइवर्सिफाई देयर एसेट्स दे आर ट्राइंग टू कट डाउन देयर डिपेंडेंस अपॉन यूएस डॉलर इन मोर देन वन वेज लेकिन चाइना क्या कर रहा है चाइना इज ऑल्सो शोइंग फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी टू इट्स ओन एक्सचेंज रेट इट इज ऑल्सो क्रिएटिंग डीपर डेट मार्केट एंड रनमिन बी एज ए यूनिट ऑफ अकाउंट मीन्स ऑफ पेमेंट स्टोर value including foreign reserves is increasing and most importantly as an alternative to swift that is the society for worldwide interbank financial telecommunication which is in the hands of the us they are trying to create an alternative system they are trying to create an alternative digital system jiske upar ek alternate economic process eventually international level par create kiya ja sake for example ali pay we chat pay they are creating a model they are creating a system where like minded countries can imbibe such model and they can also grow without the support of the us that is why we can say that dollar's hegemony whether it is the un system whether it is icj whether it is wto whether it is the global war on terror everywhere there is role of dollar so for us dollar is a currency but for the world 
and especially for the strategic rivals of the US it is actually a problem because when we see yen yen is too lethargic to take on when we say euro then it is crippling with its own protectionist ideas like the way us is also behaving a little protectionist then remains renminbi and as i just said it is having its own issues like chinese economic system is state capitalism jisme state is controlling all elements and organs state is the power market is not the power in a primary manner though market economy obviously is penetrating and we china is also part of wto and it is supposed to be a market economy and financial controls are also in the hands of the chinese government that is how we say chai fir baat hua hi ki ho chai fir baat zt ki ho they all are supposed to be the front face of the government and sanctions have been imposed by the us in turn crippling their power ki unhe kuch inventory chahiye ya unhe kuch primary products chahiye in sab ke andar us ka role aayega hi aayega so hum keh sakte hain china is a technocratic authoritarian political regime jisme technology aur authoritarian power dono positive way mein mix hokar political regime ko facilitate karte hain aisa western world ke sath nahi that is why chinese model is more attracted to some emerging markets and less democratic countries and dollar is going to remain as a great and a powerful currency a tool as a as a powerful weapon in the decades to come that is what we can conclude it is in news because global stocks and the dollar rise with the us economic data that is why we are discussing why and how dollar is a global currency see the question of the day when a currency when the country's currency appreciates that is rises in value related to other currencies the country's goods abroad became dash expensive and the foreign goods in that country becomes dash expensive that is holding domestic prices constant in two countries so we can say it becomes more expensive and it becomes less expensive because that is how when a currency is appreciating the country's goods abroad become more expensive that means uh, it exports and then the kind the foreign goods in that country becomes less expensive that means imports become more favorable and that is what we can conclude do like and share our channel and i am looking forward to your comments and subscribe to an sarkari to have a great successful and also strategic advantage looking forward to hearing from you soon thank you very much